All right, Shalom. One. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim Rakah Kwadash, and double honor to the apostles of the Great Millstone that taught me this truth through the inspiration and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai, and giving salutations to the Yakim out there that's forwarding this ministry as always in continuance and in diligence, most importantly out of the sincerity of your hearts. Okay, and I just want to do a brief response to this video here. In um, this video, as I've saw it, all of it basically, um, the apostle uh, responded to the other apostles' video, Apostle Gabar, I believe, if I could, if, if my memory serves me correctly. And it has to involve Volcat Malone, which Volcat Malone is basically nothing more than a dust particle. You know, we could be talking about other things, which is important. But obviously, being that we're the real apologetics, the real defenders of the gospel, which is what that word means, you know, we got to do what we got to do on, on our side of things, you know. And, um, you know, that's why the apostles and, and many other brothers are speaking against this man. But um, whether we speak against this man or not, you know, our gospel is going to continue to run strong because we're in that time where spiritually the Israelites are being revived again. And this is something that the Most High wants in these days and times because the Most High is getting ready to send his son back to recover the remnant of, of his people, the nation of Israel, which the true genuine nation of Israel, are, you know, the people of color, not the people that claim themselves to be what they are. And, um, you know, but are walking around with our with our identity, which they're nothing more than identity thieves. And I'm talking about those 1948ers. OK. And for so many years, they've been saying that they were been they were the people and all of this nonsense. But in fact, they've never been the people. And now all of a sudden it's a problem when we say we're the people. I wonder why it's a problem. You know why? Because it's the truth that they don't want to get out. But it's already gotten out already. So um, with that being said, I want to read the book of Mark 7 because, um, you know, these individuals, they're trying to uphold. And I'm talking about Volcat Malone and his motley crew. They're trying to uphold Christianity as the standard for, you know, our people, which a lot of our people for so many years have been pretty much under the guise of Christianity. And they're trying to bring us back to that standard again so that we can continue to uphold this man-made tradition. OK, and um, the tradition is failing. Why? Because in the doctrine of Christianity, it's all based on lies. OK, it's all based on lies. And this is why, as I have to read first, this is our Proverbs 12, verse 19. It says, the lips of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. And the proof of that is, is the fact that people are leaving the Christian church is about a flock load. Okay. And as I've said, it's just lies, man. That's all the Christian church has been perpetrating throughout the years of what the purpose of God is. And, you know, things like, well, God and came to die for a nation. God is just a God of love and he loves everybody. And, um, you know, the Messiah died for everybody's sins. And, you know, the list goes on and on and on. And it's just pretty much. When you really go into Christianity and you, you get real specific with it and you go into in depth with that religion, which you find out it's just got Babylonianism. It's got Bama, it's got Babylonianistic kind of philosophies in, in within that doctrine. So uh, that's not a part of the, the, the gospel of the Amashiach Yahushai, which was given to the disciples and as well as the apostles. OK. And we don't go by those customs at all. Like, for example, you know, you have within Christianity, you have these high holy days, which are celebrated um, Easter, which goes back to the God of um, Ishtar, which goes back to the God of, um, I believe, is sex. And then you have um, Christmas, which goes back once again, which is another Babylonian custom, which the Babylonians believed that the tree could actually move. And, you know, what they used to do as a custom, and it's in the book of, um, I think it's in the book of Isaiah, I think it's in the book of Jeremiah 10, where um, Jeremiah specifies on that, on how you had the Babylonians, which were nothing more than the Syrians anyway, they were just a portion of Syrians or Asherites, which were calling themselves Babylonians. 
they actually believed that the tree was an actual moving God. And that kind of sort of thing. Let me pull it up anyway. Let me just pull it up. Uh, I think it's Jeremiah chapter 10. <clears throat> yeah. Exactly. Verse 3, to be exact. It says, For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest and the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold and they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it moved not because they believed that the tree was a moving God or such. So they would plant it down and fasten it with nails. Okay. And um, that's what Christianity celebrates. They celebrate Christmas. And when you look at the term Christmas, Christmas just simply means the death of the um, the death of Christ from the word mass, which means death. Okay. So, um, as I've said, speaking in general, man, like Christianity doesn't hold no weight against this gospel because it's a lie. That's why people are leaving the church because what lies only but last for a moment, man. The lips of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. So there you go. Let's get Matthew 24 and let's read verse 33. Excuse me. Verse 35. Heavens and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So this truth is growing, man. It's breaking through grand grandly. Okay. And this is why they're trying to put a stop to it. But how can you put a stop to a worldwide grand awakening of our people being Israelites? Like I got just to mention, I got two parents that know that they're Israelites already. So, I mean, if that's the case, and this truth is basically growing exponentially, okay? Because, um, as I've said in the beginning of the video, we're in a time of the spiritual revival of the nation of Israel, which is what the Heavenly Father is allowing now, because he's getting ready to send his son back to judge the nation of Israel. And you're going to have the elect of us that are going to receive the right judgment, and you're going to have... The, um, the majority of our people which will receive bad judgment. So we're coming into a time of the Amashiach Yahweh Shah judging the world. Okay, and that's the world of Israel. So in, in the times that we're living in right now, this truth is going to break through strongly. Okay. But most importantly, being that we're the forerunners of this gospel, it's about the revival of the house of David. Okay, so you can't stop this thing, man. This truth cannot be stopped. It's not, it's going <laughs> to, it, it, it don't matter how, how many men are, are on a path right along with vocab that's trying to stop this thing. It can't be stopped because this is of the creator. All right. It was in the prophecy that we would lose our heritage and it's in the prophecy that we would gain it back. That's the prophecy. That's the words of God. And as it reads in the book of Ecclesiastes 3, verse 14, let's, let's pull this out. It says, I know that whatsoever the most I do of it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And the most I do of it that men should fear before him. There you go for him. So what is the doings of the Lord by us gaining back this ministry and publicating it? That's all the doings of the Lord. So therefore, this ministry is not going anywhere. All right. It's not going nowhere. No matter how hard you go and try to stop it, it's not going to go anywhere because this is of the most high himself, man. As I've just read to you in Matthew 24, verse, what is it, 35, that the gospel will not pass away. And the gospel that we have is the genuine gospel of the Amashiach, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So that's all I have to say. I want to give all of the praise and the glory to the Most High and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Arvakar, Kodash. And with that, I am out. Shalom.